How does a turbocharger actually work? Well, I'm Dave Rockout from Armageddon Turbo Systems, and today I'm gonna show you how a turbocharger works. In front of me, you can see I've got three different turbochargers, big turbocharger, medium-sized turbocharger, small-sized turbocharger. They all function the exact same way. So on an internal combustion engine, you've got combustion that happens, comes out the exhaust port. This is where the turbocharger comes in. Usually that exhaust goes back out your tailpipe and goes out into the world. With a turbocharger, we're gonna actually harness the heat and flow energy of that exhaust and put it to work. So on this little turbo here, you can see we've got an exhaust manifold. So this would attach to your engine and this is where the exhaust gases will come back through. The exhaust gases come in and enter this portion of the turbocharger called the turbine housing right here. Let's see what's inside the turbine housing. All right, so exhaust gases and heat enter the turbine housing here, and then they meet this guy here. This is the turbine wheel. So those gases force this turbine wheel to start spinning. Now there's gonna be a shaft that goes through the turbocharger and connects to the other side of the turbo, which is the compressor. So your typical engine will take in outside air and to start the combustion process inside the engine. The turbocharger helps that along a little bit. So we're still bringing in outside air and it enters the compressor here. The turbine's taking the spent exhaust gases and spinning, and this compressor is compressing that air that it's bringing in from the outside through this compressor housing and exiting the turbocharger here. Let's see what that compressor looks like. So here's our compressor wheel. So fresh air comes in, turbine spinning, the compressor wheel's compressing the air, exiting, and then we force that air back into the engine, which by putting more air into the engine, forcing more air into the engine with what we call boost, we can add more fuel, which means we can make more horsepower. And that is how a turbocharger works. There's many different sizes of turbochargers. This is a very large turbocharger. The larger the turbocharger, the more air we can compress and force into the engine. But there's a catch. You need a nice big engine to have enough displacement to force enough air to spin the turbine to run a bigger compressor. So in these three turbochargers here, we would use this one in a single turbo configuration on maybe a V8 with five liters or more of displacement. Medium sized turbo for running a single turbo application, we'd want maybe between 2.3 liters to three and a half liters, this would be properly sized for. Now that means that the engine has enough displacement to spin the turbine and run this compressor and force more air into the engine. Now, what if we have a very small engine? Well, then you're gonna need a turbo around this size. So each turbocharger is gonna have the same configuration, but the size of the turbine determines how large the compressor can be and how fast we can get the turbocharger spinning, and that's gonna determine the ultimate horsepower it's capable of producing. This small turbo here can maybe put out 380 to 420 horsepower. This medium-sized turbo here is gonna be good for between 700 and 1,000 horsepower. And this very large turbo is gonna be from 600 to 1,200 horsepower. And that's in a single turbo configuration. If we wanna do a twin turbo configuration, you can double that power for each one of them. Hope that answered your questions. Like and subscribe to hear more about turbocharging. And you can always visit us at goturbo.net for all of your turbocharging product needs.